Are you using the newest version of QuickBooks and you're wondering, how do I navigate it? I recently did a video about this and yet I got a couple questions that I wanted to share with you, which is how do I do bookmarks? How do I customize the menu screen? And I thought this would be a perfect opportunity to teach you. So let's jump in to QuickBooks. If we come over here on the left, yes, you can still customize it. If you click on customize, you will see these as options. Now, if you first come in here and you think, how the heck does that work? You can pin up to three for easy access. So these are considered pinned menus. So you can have what they call accounting. You can have expenses, you can have sales. You could choose to have the customer hub, your team, your sales tax business or lending, or you could choose to have less of them. So if you're like, I don't wanna see that actually, you can just unpin them. As you unpin, you can choose to pin different ones. Makes sense. And you can click save and then you'll notice over here to the left, it changes your pins. Now, if you're saying, okay, but I don't like the order they're in, you can actually just click on the six dots and move them to a different order and it will recategorize your pins. If anytime you're like, nope, don't like that, you can just click reset default and it will go back to what it originally was set up as. Now, if you're thinking, I want to find my shortcuts, my bookmarkers, how do I do that? So bookmarks allow you to easily go to different areas. So you can easily go to reconcile. You can add your different bookmarks. If you just want to be able to quickly click one button and you're in the reconcile screen, that is the benefit of bookmarks. Did you know that? Have you been using them? So you might be thinking, okay, how do I do that? Anytime the menu is showing and you want something that's not traditionally there, let's say you wanna to go to your chart of accounts, you wanna be able to have your register, like that's something you always want for this specific account. When you go over to bookmark, you can click bookmark current page and you can select what it's called and you can change it. So you can say bank account and the number and you can say register. So if you always wanna quickly be able to go to the register, that could be one of your bookmarks and you click save and now that Will be sitting over here and anytime you're in the invoice screen and now you want to be over in the register that is the benefit of bookmarks they'll get in there and customize especially if you don't like because a lot of people are saying yes you may not like the current layout of the quickbooks and it's always changing one click around two customize it to what you need that is one of the things i often am teaching inside of commerce quickbooks how do you make quickbooks work for you so that you're not using features or functions you don't need to be using, right? Not everybody needs to be using invoices. Maybe you want to use sales receipts, but how do you make it work for you? And so you want to come in here and customize it. So one of the ways you can do that with your bookmarks after you create them, if you create a bunch of them, is that you can even edit them anytime by clicking the pencil or the main pencil allows you to find what other bookmarks are automatically already created for you. And if you're thinking, yeah, one of those I want to see. Like I want to see my customers in the top. I want to see my contractors or any of these things related to 99s, bills, whatever you use on a regular basis, you can select them and then you can grab them and move them also in any order by clicking the six little dots. And if at any time you go, actually, I want to reset that, you can choose to reset it as well and then click save and that's what you'll have. If you're thinking, I'm getting a lot of menus and I don't want that, you can always change those by these three lines here. You can close them and then you'll only see this. But at any time, if you want it, it's just sitting there waiting for you to re-click it. So you can get into any screen, any area of QuickBooks and make it a bookmark and you can edit your bookmarks and you can customize the pinned areas at the bottom. If you're thinking, where the heck does the stuff I used to use exist? Just start clicking around or hovering over things and being like, oh, okay, so under accounting, this is what's here. And I'll link my prior video as well because I had just started using it. So you can always check that out. But get in here and click it, see what's going on. You'll see what's been bookmarked as well. And when you're in here, if you're like, oh, I want that to be a bookmark, look at that, you just hover over it and you can select it and it will add it as a bookmark in that way. And if you have something that you don't want to bookmark, you can also unselect it or select it at any time through the navigation. Pretty cool. So let me know, are you going to start using this? Are you feeling a little bit better about the navigation as the changes are happening? Has it rolled out for you? And if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and share it with others if they need help with QuickBooks as well. I truly appreciate it. And if you wanna get these tips and tricks straight to your inbox, you can go up above or down below. And if you're just needing additional support with QuickBooks, make sure to check out our resources 
because we have ways to help you. I look forward to seeing you inside of our next tip and trick. Toodaloo. Let me know if you have any other questions below. See you soon.